Yeah. Welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day. It's the 6th of October 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets to lead you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session and have a look at a couple of charts that have caught my eye. Overnight, of course, we saw US equities near neutral, looking pretty cautious prior to tonight's really important non farm payrolls data. Uh, of course, we did see some softness in the ADP report on Wednesday, uh, but quite often there is quite a disparity. Markets would probably like that softer number to be replicated in tonight's number. Uh, if it's too hot, we may see bond yields rise again, which has been one of the key stories of the week. US futures are pretty flat in Asian trade and European markets are suggesting a positive open this afternoon. And we saw the US drop down by the midpoint of the Asian, uh, by the midpoint of the session last night and then move back up to close towards the top of the session. And we're seeing that caution reflected in the VIX as well. Asian markets were mixed early on after that cautious US lead. But we are seeing some buying coming into Asia. Uh, and now the Nikkei has also moved into positive territory following the ASX, which started around about 0.2% of the upside, but now has risen towards the highs of the session around half a percent it is friday we have got that key data so it wouldn't be surprising just to see a little money coming off the table towards the back end of the session us dollar index fell from its multi-month highs and looks weaker again in asia today across some pairs but again we've really sort of moved into a fairly tight range choppy period gold has paused from its recent drop and copper continues to test support both are slightly higher in asia and we saw another significant drop in oil yesterday. It's dropped around about 13% over the last week, which is great news for the market, as that was obviously a key worry in terms of its impact on inflation. It does appear to be pausing in Asia at this stage. Bitcoin is still trading around a resistance level, around about 27,700, 27, um, Not the momentum to take that through just yet, uh, but worth keeping an eye on nevertheless. And of course, outside of the non-farm payrolls, which is the headline data point, not only of today, but of the week, we've got some lesser data coming out of Europe, really. We've got Swiss jobs, which will impact on the Swiss franc, and Germany factory orders, which may impact on the euro. And next week, the markets will also have half an eye on. We have got the latest US CPI print and the start of US earnings season with the big bounce kicking things off on Friday. A couple of charts that caught our eye as we approach the weekend. We are actually quite liking Lie 360. Uh, we've got a really nice bounce off this support at around about $8. See about $9.30 uh, as a potential upside on this. Very well run company. This was a positive earnings response. And I think this is just a little bit of sell off from this incredible run up that it's had since April. So I think this could be ready to go again. Uh, and a move up to 940 would be a significant a shift from where we are now of around about nine percent so that is our asx chart we're just keeping an eye on uh, let's see where it goes into the close in the fx market the euro aussie is looking interesting around this level at around 165.38 we're not seeing any massive movements on the cards i don't think before tonight's data but for those of you who trade short term there could be a small opportunity here uh, down to around about 165 in the short term uh be worthwhile patient being patient until we see a breach of that and of course with us being at this point in the asian session it may be not until we get that european market open that we see any significant shift from where we are right now so want to have a look at perhaps late this afternoon Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.